Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to do a review for the Cooler Master Elite 430 uh, gaming uh, PC case. Um, so if I take you to it now, um, basically I've just put this system together. If we start at the top, I've put a 120mm here, blue LED fan. I've set this one up so it's sucking cold air in, blowing cold air over the RAM, keeping that nice and cool. There's a second 120mm uh, area here, but I could not use that because uh, the power supply to the CPU cable was in the way. But I decided to keep that open so there's no fan there. And the reason being, if you see the heat seeking fan, instead of it blowing out at the back of the case, I've set it up so it's blowing the hot air at the top of the case. So with this open, it's escaping easier. I had to fit the CPU in sync, uh, heat sink like that because. Um, basically it's a purse pin system and uh, I couldn't get my fingers in there in the corner it was really really tight um, so but it, that's okay I'm fine with that at the back there uh, I don't know if you can see it but it's uh, there's a red LED fan uh, I thought I'd use red to signify it's sucking the warm air out um, on the side of the case I've put another 120mm blue LED fan with a dust filter, um, obviously open to cool down the board and the graphics card and uh, I've got a fan in the bottom which I'm going to buy, a, I've bought a grill for that which uh, as soon as it comes I'm going to fit it um, there's another 120mm blue LED fan on the front bottom of the case so I can cool it in um, my fan controller here, this controls all my fans. This controls the, the cathode lights that I've fitted. I've put two blue cathode lights, they're kind of good away. So that controls that. Um, it looks kind of nice at night. Um, I've put some badges on top of my case, uh, quiet PC, because even with all five fans on full, it's, it's fairly quiet. Um, I've put a badge here saying custom built by myself with my name on, a uh, Windows 7 badge. If I take it around to the side panel, I've, I've done a good job of hiding most of my cables. It's fairly dark in here, but I don't know if you can see it, but I've had most of the cables down the side here. And uh, the front panel cables, I've had right along the bottom. i put them up through these holes, so it's all nice and tidy. Uh, the heat sink, obviously, uh, the CPU at the back of the CPU is all exposed, so easier to fit. Uh, your coolers, which is a which is a good nice touch. Um, basically, yeah. If I open this side panel, um, you can see in there. There's really not many wires ex exposed, and I've got my two 12-inch lights hit on the side. So that when I turn them, when I turn them on, like so. But fitting them where they are, they cannot be seen when the case is closed. Um, there's very few cables in the bottom. There's just a couple of fan cables, which I'm going to get some tape and hide them. I've got a 256 gig SSD drive hit up here, and another. Seagate Barracuda drive there, can we, we file on that? Um, basically, I wouldn't buy this for a, you know, if I was building an ultimate system, but for a second system case, or a budget case is cheap, I'd, I'd say it's worth the money. Um, so, I hope this review has uh, been useful to some people. And, uh, People saying that you can't really hide the cables, you can do a good job. You know, you can. I it was it's fairly hard to work with it, but it can be done. So I hope uh, hope you enjoy this review. Thank you, YouTubers.